Welcome to this how-to video. Today we're going to be talking about how to set up your VApply HD system for your 2020 Gen 3 monitor on 2020.1 or newer software. First of all, please make sure you've completed and watched the video on general planner setup as well as the video on the VApply pump control module setup before diving into your VApply HD setup. For your VApply HD setup, let's first start by going to the setup button. Next, let's go to the into our equipment tab. In our equipment tab, you should have a liquid tab on the right if you have already set up your liquid system. If not, select add system and add the liquid system to your display. Under your liquid system, if you do not already have your product set up from your VApply base control module, you'll need to select add product and add the product you would like your VApply HD to control. Again, refer to the VApply rate control module setup for more information on this. Next, press back and go to the Systems tab. Under the Systems tab, press on your product name, or in this case, Nitrogen, on the right-hand side. Under your Nitrogen product, we should already have a VApply Rate Control Module set up on the screen from the previous setup. Next, to configure VApply HD, press Add Hardware at the bottom of the screen. In this case, select VApply HD. Our next setup looks very similar to VApply pump control setup. First, we will need to select the row control module or the jumper color that's connected to our VApply HD. The options are black, brown, white, or green. This is the color of the connector going into the six pin can going into the VApply HD module. In this case, we'll be using black. Next, select which rows we have VApply HD installed. For our example, we have a row by row system and we'll select all. If you're doing a section control system, only select the rows that have the Apply HD plugged into them. Next, press continue. The next setup option will be where we assign which rows are being controlled by our module. On the left hand side, we have a summary chart with each row location for, for each module. If you're doing a section control system, only the rows you have configured with modules installed will appear here. Next, we need to assign which rows are downstream or are being controlled by the module. In this case, for a row by row system, we can just select row by row. If this was a section control system with, let's say, two rows per section, you would need to go into row one and select row one and row two as the rows being controlled by our module on row one. This would be how you, do, you, could, you would configure a section controlled system. Back to our current example, you would select row by row for a row by row control. On the right hand side, each module individually has a rate a flow control or flow rate adjustment option as well where you can enter a percentage adjustment for different viscosities of fertilizer. Again, each module has an individual flow rate adjustment. Next, when you're complete with the setup, press done. Now at the top, we have our VApply HD module along with a dot on each row where it's installed. The blocks individually would denote the sections that those rows are controlling. Especially in, this, in the setup of a section control system, you should see multiple rows within a single block with a dot on it. This completes the VApply HD setup for this planter. For additional setup for flow sense, VApply rate control, and other systems, please refer to the operator's guide or additional how-to uh, videos. For additional questions, please feel free to reach out to your precision planning product support team or your precision planning dealer. Thank you.